Another Town Hall 8 um, base review um, from forums. Just um, my objective here is just usually to produce sort of three tips so you can improve your base. Um, so just here we've got a Town Hall 8 farming base. He's farming at 1556 cups, so he might be seeing some air, um, but presumably, predominantly, it's barch. So just looking at the farming base, he's got a nice centered CC. Um, first thing to observe is you can see that he's got a lot of stores in this center compartment. So if they actually bust the center, they're going to actually take out four stores. Um, so that's probably something you want to have a look at, whether you can take a more diversified um, storage approach and actually put stores in different pockets. Now the disadvantage of that is you might lose a store more often because you know, it's a bit shallower. But the advantage is when you lose your stores, you don't lose all of them. So have a look at um, whether you can sort of spread them out a little more. Um, and that will allow you to pull some of your, say, splash damage or air damage into the center. Uh, in terms of your splash damage, it's nice sort of, you can see this nice circle of splash damage two layers in. Pretty good idea, um, given that you're probably going to be facing mostly barch. Um, okay, the second tip is you're giving away a lot of free buildings. There's a lot of buildings which are kind of out of range and an archer can just pick them off for free. Um, buildings like huts and barracks, uh, even camps, I call them shield buildings because you can use them to kill attacking troops while um, while you're not losing any loot. Um, so I'm a big fan of having those buildings in range, defense range, so that way you can reduce the size of the raiding army without actually losing any loot. So try and put, check your range on your cannons, check your range on your archer towers, and try and pull um, the various um, buildings on your perimeter into range. No point in having huts on perimeter. You're not pushing for cups looking at 1556, or maybe you are, but um, I would have um, pulled them into range too, um, just so you can get some free um, kills on your uh, attacking army without losing loot. Um, good, he's got a town hall outside. Um, third thing you can see, he's got a store on the perimeter. Um, it depends on your loot balance, I guess. You've only got nine, nine, um, 97k uh, of gold, so it's probably not a bad idea. One really good tip for bases is to move your loot around as your loot balance changes. So if, you're, if you've got lots of elixir, uh, you know, um, protect your elixir. If you've got lots of DE, protect your DE. Um, but don't actually always leave your um, stores in the same place. Um, now this base, you've got the ability to pick off um, some of your um, stores. Now, if you're protecting Elixir, you probably would, given you've got 97 gold, you might even move your gold out and swap it with your Elixir or try and bring that in. Um, but it depends what you're trying to build up. So, uh, so there's three tips. Um, put your stores in different pockets. Um, don't give away free buildings because you can... Um, kill troops while not losing any loot if you have them all in range. And the third is just make sure you don't have any stores on your perimeter unless I guess they're pretty much empty. Thanks.